What's up guys, Eternal here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Zaya. So let's go with Drance Blade. I will play with Leona support against Karma and Vayne. You want to start with Q first and let's get to her skill explanation. So on passive after using our ability, Zaya's next three basic attacks will hit all targets around the buff and leave a feather for 6 seconds. The main target of her empowered attacks takes full damage and on hits while other targets take 30% damage. Zaya can store up to 5 empowered attacks. And if Zaya is teamed up with Rakan, they can recall together. Then her Q, Zaya throws two knives doing physical damage each and leaving two feathers. Targets hit after the first take 50% damage. Then her E, Zaya calls all feathers back to her, dealing physical damage to enemies they pass through. Hitting an enemy with three feathers throws them for 1.25 seconds. So with your Q, you should be poking your enemies also that way. It's easier to get level 2 first. You can see feathers below my health bar, this is your passive. With your Q you can also last hit minions if you are not able to reach them with your basic attacks or if you want to avoid the poke while trying to do so. Now I have my E. So pay attention to your feathers, they follow your movement as you can see. And usually you want to trigger your E if your enemy steps on the feather. And if you have three feathers you will root, so try to E once you get three feathers on the ground and your enemy is stepping in that line. And usually the easiest way to apply three feathers is to Q. Q grants two feathers and do basic attack then E. But sometimes you can just Q and E, especially once you get some items, just to do a nice amount of damage. But this is C and this is a root as you can see. Pretty solid damage. And as for support synergies, you want to play with either engagers like Leona or something that can heal you up like Nami or Soraka. Since Zaya's in the game got nerfed, she is dependent on her support in getting a kill. You can also follow up with your QE on jungler's gank, but on your own you are not really able to get fed. So proper synergy is key for Zaya at the moment. As for W, you want to use that in the moment of trading or when you want to push fast since it increases your attack speed and as you can see I have biscuits they are great because they increase your social mana pool and help sustain the damage in poke matchups especially against something like Lux or Brand. And you want to max E first. Overall Zaya is very dependent on her items, so once you get your 3 core items you can carry, but until that you just want to avoid fighting too much, unless as I mentioned before your support does something. At least get the first item that is a sense weaver and then you can try something. But until this happens not really. Did E for little amount of damage, always something. Always pay attention to feathers, your enemy can mess up sometimes, it happens. Think Shriek and hear so I will know if Karma wants to poke me. Maybe if I did E faster I would root Vein, but at least I had the root on Karma anyway. Nature bends towards chaos. Give in or break. Uh, 
Let's help him. W for attack speed. Okay. Very nice. That's why Lona is good with Zaya. It really makes a difference with proper support champion. Because you can get that easier. Since Zaya is currently not the best AD carry, there are many stronger choices like Lucian or Kaisa in the moment of making this video. So Lona really works. And you want to get a Sense Weaver first. This item is great because it grants you mana sustain and 20% CDR, fair amount of attack damage. As for W full explanation, Zaya creates a storm of blaze for 4 seconds that grant her 40% attack speed and cause her basic attacks to strike an additional time for 20% damage. If W strikes an enemy champion, allies under the effect of W gain 30% movement speed for 1.5 seconds. And if you are teamed up with Rakan, he will also gain the effect of W. So the wave is currently in the right spot. By keeping wave in this spot you force enemies to overextend and you can get fed more often. Also that way you are not risking to get killed as Zaya since you are dependent on your ultimate and before you get ultimate on your flash so you lack escapes. And that way I'm safe, I can farm, I can reach my power spike. I'm more likely to reach that without feeding. Oh, nice. Very well. So I didn't even have to use my ultimate. But most of the times you want to keep your ultimate in a defensive way, but you can use it to root enemies, especially when chasing. Within that range you just press E right after ultimate, which I'll explain soon of course. And you want to max W second. Oh, listen. So, as you could see, that was a um, nice combo. You want to reposition your feathers like this. Actually, I could have played this better if I used ultimate right in the moment of Vayne doing condemn. I would be in range to finish her off with my E, but maybe having ultimate will just allow me to get a kill or Manzahar. Okay, he's not there, so never mind. My bad. It was still war for us, but. I just saw an opportunity to do this a bit better. Okay, he's back already. Really fast. Wanted in range for my E. Oh damn. So an ultimate Zaya leaps into the air becoming untargetable, she then rains down daggers which deal physical damage and leave behind a line of feathers. And you can move while in the air. So with these feathers if you want to use it in an aggressive way then that's great for teamfights to follow up CC, you summon feathers and then press E, that's very nice. 
but in a defensive way the untargetable effect is great against assassins so usually you want to keep your ultimate until you need it so much unless you are sure that you want this too much from casting ultimate that you are safe anyway Now I have a sense weaver so I can really spam these abilities without having to worry about my mana pool. Another root. Now Marza have his fat, so he will try to pressure. Sometimes if you are not able to basic attack you can cast ultimate as a finisher because it has slightly better range than your basics. I think we can dive her. Now I can use ulti deals damage. So fast Q and E as a finisher, as I mentioned before. Okay, let's back. Here we go. Okay, there's a there's a follow up from TP. Let's go for this. Stack feathers and press E, then summon feathers again from your passive. It's pointless to fight, but if Lona made a good engage, why not? In this case I was in such good spot that I could use my ultimate aggressively. I had little amount of time to stack my feathers so I just tried to do this real quick. What is he doing? Let's keep scaling, farming. What? Talking to anybody about anything is never on my to-do list. Oh nice. Yeah, I thought so that Lona will be tanky enough, so I didn't want to press heal. I would like to farm bot lane, but it's important to out push. I'm just trying to stay with the team to be as impactful as I can.
trying to harass with my feathers. could bait something on Baron, Vayne's bot. You can cancel anytime. Baron secured with my feathers stacked. I'm gonna heal her. can take that as well. Okay, I have so much gold, some magic resist, building towards QSS. Now I have my power spike. I reached that. From that point, once you get these items, you can really impact. be a bit better if they were rooted, but that was enough. And let's push bot. That nice. <laughs> At this point, you have really huge amount of damage. Survived, nice. I just take inhibitor. I might die now. Okay, that was worth it. I have inhibitor. Let's go for this, and now we want to build towards. Blood first. Uh. Sold by lifesteal items, but I have twelve percent from runes. Bloodline is really the best rune for ADCs currently. Two inhibitors down, we should go top. Chaos is 
the preferred state of nature. Even more CS and killing Why not? Okay, Relia died, but we can take this top. I have QSS down his spell shield. they step on that they do <laughs> yeah so thank you guys for watching hope that you learned something about zaya leave a like subscribe and see you next time